Hi friends! Today we will learn about animal cells, so let's start. We know all organisms are made up of cells like a house is made up of bricks. A cell is the smallest unit of life that is self-contained and self-maintaining. It can take in nutrients, convert these nutrients into energy, carry out specialized functions, and can also reproduce. So, it is the smallest unit of life. All types of cells are either eukaryotic or prokaryotic. First of all, prokaryotes or the prokaryotic cells were the only form of life on Earth for millions of years until more complicated eukaryotic cells came into being through the process of evolution. Bacteria and archaea have prokaryotic cells, while all other living things, plants, birds, animals, fish, insects, rats, all types of plants are made up of eukaryotic cells. Today, we will learn about an animal cell, which is a eukaryotic cell. Animal cells are eukaryotic cells, so they have a true nucleus and many specialized small bodies called organelles for carrying out different functions. An animal cell does not have a cell wall, vacuole, and plastids like a plant cell. As there is no cell wall, so the shape of an animal cell is mostly irregular. An animal cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane. It has a membrane-bound nucleus and many membrane-bound organelles inside it. There are various kinds of cells in an animal body. That is, all the cells in an animal body or any organism are not the same. For example, the human body has more than 200 types of cells. Different kinds of cells vary in shape and size and functionality. Various types of organelles in animal cells are centrioles, cilia, flagella, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, microfilaments, microtubules, mitochondria, nucleus, peroxisomes, plasma membrane, and ribosomes. As we learned that all cells in an animal or any organism are not the same, so all these cells do not have all these organelles, but most of the cells have most of these organelles. Let's learn the different organelles of an animal cell. Cytoplasm. All the material inside of the cell membrane excluding the nucleus is known as cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of the jelly-like material called cytosol and free-floating organelles in the cell. Cytosol is a liquid material made up of water and salt. Cytoplasm provides a shape to the cell and also helps in keeping all other organelles in place. Cell Membrane It is the only layer around the animal cell as an animal cell does not have a cell wall. It is a double layer made up of phospholipids. The cell membrane is selectively permeable, meaning it only allows certain molecules to pass through. The cell membrane is composed of proteins and fats. Nucleus The nucleus contains the genetic material that is the DNA of the cell. Now what is this DNA? DNA means deoxyribonucleic acid. It carries genetic instructions for the development and function of living things. We will learn more about DNA later on. The nucleus is the organelle that coordinates all the cell activities like growth, metabolism, 
protein synthesis, and reproduction. Because the DNA, which is all the information regarding the coordination of all the cell activities, lies in the DNA. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope, also called the nuclear membrane, which separates the nucleus from the rest of the cell. There is a small nucleolus in the center of the nucleus, which holds the DNA. It is the DNA that provides instructions for making protein and also regulates the growth and division of cells. So, you can compare the nucleus to the brain in the human body. The way the brain coordinates all the actions of the human body is similar to the way the nucleus guides and coordinates all the activities in the cell. Now, let's learn about ribosomes. These are small dots you can see in the cell, and these are called ribosomes. These are the smallest membrane-bound organelle, and they are called the protein factories. Ribosomes are produced by the nucleolus inside of the nucleus, from where they are transferred into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, they may free flow or attach to the membrane of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, where they produce protein. We will learn about protein synthesis later on. Now, let's learn about the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, is a network of sacs called cisternae that branches off from the outer nuclear membrane. Endoplasmic reticulum is of two types, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, also known as SER, makes hormones and lipids and also distributes it to other parts of the cell. This is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum because no ribosomes are attached to its membrane. Next is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum because a lot of ribosomes are attached to its membrane or its surface. Ribosomes synthesize the protein on the surface or cytoplasm of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is also known as the intracellular circulatory system. Next part of the plant cell is the Golgi apparatus, or the GA. It is also sometimes called the Golgi complex or Golgi body. It is present in all types of eukaryotic cells. The GA is made up of many cup-shaped membrane-covered sacs called cisternae. GA is called the post office of the plant cell. What is a post office? Post offices receive letters, sorts them, and sends them to their destinations. Similarly, the Golgi apparatus in a plant cell receives proteins, sorts them, and sends them to their destination inside or outside of the cell. Next is the mitochondria. These organelles are called the powerhouses of the cell. They provide energy to the cell by breaking down carbohydrates and sugar molecules. Next part is vesicles. Vesicles are small bodies which are used for transporting molecules throughout the cell from one organelle to another in the cytoplasm. The cell's outer membrane is also made up of vesicles. Next are lysosomes. Lysosomes are also a type of vesicles. Lysosomes are also called suicidal bags as they hold digestive enzymes that digest large molecules like carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins into smaller ones so that they can be used by the cell. Lysosomes also digest worn out organelles, food particles, and any foreign bodies in the cell. Cytoskeleton. There are many more small bodies free-floating in the cytoplasm, like microtubules and microfilaments. The cytoskeleton is a network of these filaments and tubules in the cytosol. This network of tubules and filaments gives shape and strength to the cell. It also keeps other organelles in place. 
It has many other complex functions too. Microfilaments are the smallest ones, while microtubules are the biggest ones. Microtubules are hollow rods that provide support and shape to the cell. Now, let's learn about two organelles which are not found in plant cells. They are only found in animal cells. Cilia and flagella. These are hair-like structures which extend from the surface of most of the animal cells. A cell has a few flagella, but many cilia all over the surface of the cell. The difference between flagella and cilia can be seen in their size, as flagella are much longer than cilia. Flagella are fewer in number, and cilia are much larger in number than flagella. For a single cell, eukaryote, cilia and flagella are essential for the locomotion of individual organisms. We will learn more about the structure later on. So friends, today we have studied about the basic structure of the animal cell.